Hello everyone, my name is Charles Davis and I want to welcome you to Philippines After Dark, where we talk about living healthily, wealthy, and free. Especially coming to you from Cebu, Philippines. Right now I'm waiting on my co-host, Michelle, and she'll be joining us shortly. But I want to welcome everyone to Philippines After Dark. If you're on Facebook, welcome. If you're on YouTube, welcome. We're going to be talking about the cost of living here in the Philippines and some things that people may not be aware of starting up the streaming software and I'm waiting for Michelle to join us but in the meantime you all have been real busy with those uh, national conventions and uh, Donald Trump is continuing to stir up stir the pot and uh, Whatever happens is in God's hands. The first thing I want to talk about is why it is the best to live in a townhouse in Cebu. The expenses, the benefits, and some surprising benefits that you would never find out about unless you come here first. First, I want to talk about my expenses. I'm living here in a townhouse in Cebu. It's a two-bedroom townhouse in a gated subdivision called Bayswater. And the expenses here right now is 15,000 pesos a month rent. Then there is my electric bill Right now is 6,000 pesos. So we're looking at 21,000 pesos. I'm going to convert that to US dollars in a minute. Then I have two internets. That comes to about 3,000 because they're about 1,500 pesos each because I need backup. So we're looking at 15, 6, which is 21, and 3, which is 24. 24,000 pesos. Realize a thousand pesos is about 18 to 20 bucks. And so you can do the math. That's just the basic requirements to live here in a two bedroom, fully furnished townhouse. It has dishes washing machine, everything here is furnished. All I brought was my computers and my clothes, and that was it. The benefit of that, though, was I left America. I found a sense of freedom by not being weighed down by all that stuff. That was an unexpected benefit that I found when I came here. It's like I had the car note, insurance, and the expense, the cost of living in America was a two-bedroom apartment. And I still had to pay all the, the expenses was $650. 15,000 pesos is about $275. The cost of living here is significantly less than in the U.S., when I came here, launching a new channel, I didn't it's going to be called Charles K. Davis, the real Charles K. Davis. It's going to go into further into the spirituality and the metaphysics and the things that I did and learned to get to where I am today. Also, if you are looking to start finding a way to get out of that mess in whatever country you're in, well, I'm taking on 
consulting clients, helping them build online incomes, and helping them plan an exit strategy from their early retirement or even to move here to the Philippines. Subscribe for more health, wealth, and happiness. Expect that. I didn't know it was going to be this good. But there were some other benefits, too. For instance, and this is the mindset change that we learn. I learned from my recovery experience and listening to other millionaires. The most important asset we have as a person is our time. Millionaires do not waste their time. They buy time to reach their next goal. So I came here. It decreased my living expense. It decreased the stress level in my life. And therefore, I got more time because stress is the number one killer in America. It made no sense to me that we talk about we dread Mondays, we hump on Wednesdays, and thank God it's Friday. Realize more people have a heart attack on Monday morning than any other time of the week. They say that it's from going to these stressful jobs, having to get up and go and be fit. The demands that they make on our lap, they demand you to be here at 8 o'clock. They demand you to go to lunch. They demand you to stay late. They put all these demands on you, and you don't have any freedom, none. That's why this channel, The God Principles, is really talking about the principles. For instance, how do you live healthy? How do you live wealthy? Because health is wealth. You can have all the money in the world, and if your, if your health is no good, it's, it's of no value to you. But then once you get the wealth, you have to be careful not to weigh yourself down and give up your freedom. That was one of the things that I experienced in the U.S. My parents, they had the house, we had the apartment building, and they were money pits. And they also made demands on my time because as they aged, it fell on me as a responsibility. So it's like my marching orders from my dad has always been, Kenneth, always do better than I did. So I looked at how he lived and it's like, OK, I'm not going to make the mistakes that I made or the mistakes that he made. They held on to a property so long it was worth a million dollars. And by the time we, they finally decided, well, I had to make the decision to get rid of it, it was only worth $100,000. And I see that here, people building uh, these la elaborate residences. And for what? It's more important that we build up a lifestyle, one that will support us support whoever we with when we're here and when we're gone. But there were some more benefits here. We're talking about the mindset shift. People with money, they don't waste their time. For example, they will pay for their house to be cleaned. They will pay for somebody to do the laundry, to do the groceries, and they spend their time on something more valuable to them. For example, they may want to spend time with their kids, so why not pay a housekeeper to do the dishes or the laundry so that they can spend time with their children? That's much more valuable. But they also look at, if I can make $50 an hour, and I have to pay somebody $10 an hour, it's to my benefit to hire the person to do the work that I, and I can go make the $50 an hour, and I'm still $40 to the good. But how does that play out here? I'll tell you. I invest my time wisely. 
I have a housekeeper comes in every two weeks. I pay her 300 pesos for sake of this. That's about $60 to clean up my townhouse twice a week. But I take that time and invest it in something more valuable to me. Like I may work on my business. I may take a nap. What is of value to me to buy time, to make my time as life as easy as possible? Here's some things that I've been experiencing lately. I finally got my GCash card. And for those of you in the state, that's the same as a Cash App card. And so now I can put money on the GCash card and I can order things online instead of paying for them with cash. How did that help me? Realize that twice a month, I had to spend a couple of hours going to MoneyGram to get money and bring it at home to pay everything by cash. I don't have to do that anymore. Again, I didn't bought time, reduced stress, made my life much easier. I can pay all my bills through my GCash card, but it gets better. Right now, I'm also able to order my groceries online. In the States, I was going to, I forget the store, and doing it myself. But now that I've gotten here, it's like, hmm, what can I do with my time that's more valuable to me? And I wonder what happened to Michelle. And so... I order my groceries now, but then I spend the time on my exercise bike because see, this is about the God principles. This is about really God gives Charles what he needs. See, see, I'm learning to let go of certain things because when I let go of something that is a seemingly good, God gives me something better. And that's what I want you to get out of this. It's been on here. And now, this is the thing. I'm launching a new channel. It's going to be called Charles K. Davis, the real Charles K. Davis. It's going to go into further into the spirituality and the metaphysics and the things that I did and learned to get to where I am today. Also, if you are looking to start finding a way to get out of that mess in whatever country you're in. Well, I'm taking on consulting clients, helping them build online incomes, and helping them plan an exit strategy from their early retirement or even to move here to the Philippines. Subscribe for more health, wealth, and happiness. Have a nice day.